There has been a lot of news and stories about the real estate market in Albuquerque. Just last week, we had the story on the front page of the Albuquerque Journal said, Surreal Estate. Somebody I know happened to be in the photo on that too, delivering a sign, which was kind of unusual for me. But anyway, it's not about me. So let's take a look at what happened in January. We've kind of, you know, we're past 2021. We're looking into 2022. We're looking forward into 2022. And I want to give you some of the data, some insights on what we're seeing right now. And I am going to start, let me move me out of the way here. I'm going to start right here. This is, you know, really the big story, the number of homes for sale. Currently, end of January, we were at 614 homes. We're looking at, uh, by the way, the data we're looking at here, this is the Albuquerque, entire metro Albuquerque area known as Albuquerque MSA. And uh, these are all single family residential properties in the Albuquerque area. So 614 ho homes from on the sale, all time low. As we're sitting here today on February 7th, I I think I saw 650-ish homes on the market. So that, you know, that, that's really the story. We have very few homes on the market. Um, however, you know, we do have homes coming on the market, but what's happening is they're selling very fast. So if we look at days on market, median days on market actually ticked up from five days. We were actually as low as three days back in June, in uh, um, August or May and June. And now we're up at six days, median days on market again. So median means that half of the homes are selling within six days of coming on the market. Average days on market has ticked up as well. 20 days average. Um, again, that is just mind blowingly low that how quickly homes are selling just to kind of give you an idea. And we're looking back, this chart goes back to 2017 and you can see even in 2017, um, which was a, which was a healthy market, you know, during the winter months, we were at 60 days average during the busy summer months in July, we we're at 40 days. So again, 20 days is really, really low pricing. Um, there was a big move from December to January, and you can see that here. This is average price. So we actually had a tick down in the average price. We went from uh, 353 to 335 uh, December to January. However, to put that in perspective, I mean, we're basically back to uh, July, which was uh, the, the peak we had there. And then we, for whatever reason, had a little bit of bump up here at the end of the year, November, December. Um, I suspect that is going to turn around um, as we start going into late winter here and into uh, into spring, of course. Uh, median price was pretty much flat and price per square foot, which is really the one I like to look. You can see we've been on the steady uh, increase uh, I'm going back to 2017. Actually, just for perspective, let's let's make this thing go all the way out. So now we're going back to 2003. Get me ice out of the way here. Um, from 2003, 83 a square foot. We had the big run up. We peaked out in uh, 07. In this case, it says July 07, uh, 132 a square foot. And then, of course, we had the market uh shift if you want to call it that and then somewhere in 2012 or so we had our uh we just you know had a nice steady increase if we look at this on a, a 12 months um cycle kind of smooths it out a little bit so we kind of bottomed out in 2012 and ever since then we've actually been on a very nice stair-stepped increase until 2020 and now we've really just kind of shot off here uh with um price increase. Uh, I will tell you, you know, generally we see price declines when uh, the supply versus demand hits a certain, uh, usually around five months, six months supply. We're currently at, let me show you this, month supply, we're currently at 0.5. Uh, you know, if we go back to price per square foot and we look at here, okay, 2012 is about when prices started to go back up. Um, that is when, or let's look at it this way. So prices started to go down somewhere here. Let's just say 07. If we look at month supply and 07 is right here. So this is when month supply passed right around five, six months supply. That's when prices started to plateau. 
and then start to decline uh, here in 08 when we got to 8, 10 month supply. So keep an eye on that month supply number. Again, right now we're at 0.5. Uh, let's see, what else did I want to show you? Oh, close sales. Um, we actually did have a decline from last year. I'm going to make this smaller. There's too much on here. Um, so we're just looking at five months. So we did have uh, a decline of 8% from uh, January last year to January this year. On an annual basis, we're still, um, uh, so we're doing a 12 month rolling here. We're up one and a half percent in the number of closed sales. So pretty much equal uh, with last year. And I, you know, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be really difficult to surpass last year in sales. And then just one last number here we want to look at, uh, just kind of foretelling the future a little bit, and that is pending sales. So we did have uh, December of this year, it, uh, again, pending sales are, you know, future closings. So pending uh, this year uh, bottomed out in December. In 2019, it was December. And 2018 is December. So you can see that it's pretty common that in December is the, the fewest number of pendings. Just makes sense with the holidays. So we did have an uptick in the number of pendings in January, which is, again, let's think about this. This we got 972 homes pending in January, but we only had 600 and some on the market. So again, it goes back to that whole days on market. They're just selling as soon as they come on. So again, we had a good uptick from December and it's less than last year. And I, that doesn't really concern me because if you look at it, you go back to 20, let's go back to 2019, the last normal year, we're about equal with that. So uh, I think we're still gonna have plenty of home sales in Albuquerque. We're seeing, still seeing high demand. We're still seeing uh, low supply, as you can see by the data here. We're seeing multiple offers. We're seeing bidding wars. We're seeing uh, offer prices over list price on a regular basis. In fact, let's just close out with that piece of data because I have that right here. It is percent of list price. If we look at average, uh, again, this is average, percent of list price, 100.3%, 100 which is that means you know most homes, or excuse me, more than half of the homes are selling over uh, list price. That peaked out back in July at almost 102% average of list price. So I suspect that is going to continue uh, going into again late summer and early or late winter or late summer. It feels like summer out there today. It's pretty nice, even though we had that snowstorm last week. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. You got any questions about real estate in Albuquerque, give me a shout. 505-448-8888 is the Venturi Realty Group with Keller Williams Realty.